How you doing? My name is Pete and this is Dan and we're going to be showing you some robot programming today. Um, what we're going to do is create a circle with a marker on a robot which is a FANUC uh, programming robot and we use the teach pendant here to create the program from. So what we do is um, we want to uh, create a program first. So what Dan does is he goes down and pushes the select button and he goes to the F2 key and he creates a program name. What this essence, in essence does is create the program for us and names it and puts it in our program menu. We'll just choose a general program name here and he'll enter it. That's fine. And then he'll hit the enter button again. And now what we want to do is create our starting point for our robot. What we're going to do is find a point of space and create a linear move with our first point. So Dan will create, hit F1 and find the linear and hit enter. And there we have our first point. Our first point can be anywhere in space. It doesn't matter. We define it as we want to. Our next point will become a joint move and it will actually be our first point on our circle. So Dan will move the robot over to a point on the circle wherever he chooses when he gets the robot to the point that he wants on the circle he will create a point We think he's got his point spot correct, so he hits point, and then he creates a joint move. Now he's going to move in, in another point on the circle, approximately 90 degrees from the original point. So he'll probably go to the back side of the circle and create his next point. Once he gets it in position, this is the, our second point on the circle, he will create a circle point. Now a circle point is a little different in as it will give you another point option and what he has to do is change that to a circle from a joint point to a circle point. Now you can see that it gives you another point. This will be our third point on the circle. He will again lift the marker up and then move it to approximately 90 degrees again. When Dan gets it into position there, then we will create that point. Now what he does is, as you can see on the teach pendant, that he edits the third point, which is the circle point. There's a, a point at the bottom there, and he will touch that up. So he'll press the F3 key and shift button and touch that point up, and it now becomes point four. We will now move to our next point, which is approximately another 90 degrees in a counterclockwise direction. Oh, I'm sorry. Once he gets it into position, we will create another circle point. So this is F1 on the teach pendant, and scroll down to actually make a point and then change it to a circle point. Now we need to complete our circle, and what we simply do is take our first circle point and copy it into that position there. And then lastly, what we want to do is make a linear move back to our original position, but we can simply add a point and then choose our point 1 and name point 6, point 1 again. Now we have a completed program for creating the circle, and 
we will move the marker off the circle and we will run the program. And here we go. We go to the first point and we trace around to the second point. Notice it doesn't stop at the second point, it stops at the third point and then stops back at the first point again creating the full circle. Well that's our video on how to um, create a circle and program a teach pendant. Thank you very much.